Were you simply just too quick and too fast for Evander Holyfield? I'm too quick for, I'm too quick and too fast for anybody to in the with me as a heavyweight. That's the bottom line. You know, Jim, I don't know why you come up here. Don't come up here and try to give me no badass questions, try to degrade me. I don't think the guy. One punch knockout power. That is something you want. So far in this match, Tony is initiating more of the action. And I think he got hit with a nice left hook by Peter, but came right back. The Tony left hand below his waist. And Sam Peter, I'm sure, is thinking, I've got to be able to land this right hand. But no. <laughs> Look at three of them miss. Although Peter's getting a little... And then the jab getting in there by uh, Sam Peter. What a start for Peter. Missing with that right hand. Missing again with the right hand. A grazing blow. That's the signature move Tony had in the first fight. When, again, he did it. When Peter misses with the right hand, he counters with the right. Peter is trying to end this on one punch. It no, Freddie Roach down, Samuel, very happy down, with baby. Tony's jab in that first round. Tony with a big right hand. <laughs> it landed upstairs, and how about that dance step That's afterwards? The back of the head, now that you don't see from James Tony too much. He's feeling his oats. Usually he plants himself on those ropes and counters off there, but he's been good in the center of the ring. Good left hook followed by a right by Sam Peter. Back comes Tony with a counter punch. Right hand, another right hand by Tony, a left by Peter. So we've got some good two-way, some good two-way action here. And a very good pace for two large men. Every time Peter throws the right hand, Tony wants a counter with his own. It's still hard to believe. I think of James Tony, and he started at 157. Now he's in there with a guy 257 and not getting hurt with punches, apparently. It's amazing. And now Tony getting there first. Peter so far showing that he's just too slow to react. Tony's too quick. And remember, Peter's 13 years younger. All the skill stuff. 10 seconds, gentlemen. Stop it. All that pesky skill yes. stuff. <laughs> and oh, what moves by James Tony. Counter punching. And great defense, and then waves to the Sam Peter corner. What a fascinating exchange at the end of the round. Tony counter-punching as we expect. Peter throwing big bombs, not landing so much, but a, a body shot gets in. And the bravado of James Tony never ends. He would wave. Are waving by James Tony. And Tony with a straight right hand to the head. Go, Gail Van Hoy from Texas. On the hot seat, right hand to the to the head by Peter. Big uppercut by Peter. But you know, Tony landed like five punches, oh, six punches right there, and Peter, oh, oh, oh wow, what was that? That's illegal, that's what that is. Over here, over here. I think a point will be deducted. One point. Yep. Don't fuck around. One point. Raul Caiz says that's a no. Great dispatch. Tony trying to get into a rhythm here, starting to throw that left. Misses with the right. Tony jabbing more now and using his uh, crafty defensive skills. He is a great counterpunch. He doing enough to steal this round. Holyfield missing, but he got him on the inside with a left stop, hook stop, uppercut. Stop. A big around. A lot of moments in that last round, actually. And you're not supposed to be able to hook with a left hook artist. Well, he did it right there and got away with it. Shades of some of the Tony Holmes will be his calling card during this. A counter punch. And this fight is now settling into what we thought it would be for however long it lasted. And that was two men to do now. Tony's not getting hit with any counter punches. He's actually landing a few of his own, including that beautiful left hook on the inside. Tony acknowledging something to his corner. And then he got hit with a combination because of it. Early in the round, Holyfield was able to do something you seldom can do against Tony. Land a good right hand, but you see how well Tony slips these punches. This is where you got to step to your rank left hooks. Holyfield couldn't do it. And later on in the round, dare I say the hand speed of James Tony, which is apparently motion toward his corner, was actually directed toward the judge over there, we are told, in trying to indicate to the judge that he hit Evander Holyfield. He's working the judges. Tony backs up, gets 
himself some leverage. Field in his pocket. Oh, what a heavy right hand showing the chin of Holyfield. Big shot by Tony. Another leg up with the left. It's James. Beautiful combination upstairs by James Tony. A countering right, but Holyfield couldn't connect. Interesting. Here is where the left hand is low. A right hand will come across from James Tony. That left, he can't block the right hand. And the combinations from James Tony. One of the keys to victory. He had to throw more than one punch at a time. He's doing it. He said, Holyfield's, oh my God, he sticks his tongue out at Evander Holyfield. He said Holyfield, which Tony slipped. That is what he's facing. Don't hold, don't hold. Left hand thrown by Tony. There's a good shot right hand by Tony. I thought that one stunned Blackman's going to have to gather himself. He said today, he said, this is a must win for me. I could never convince myself that I'm still a contender. Two for three minutes for Tony. And I think that back in the legs of Rockwell clearly got his attention. And I think your point's well taken that our eye is bothering him. Then our Rockland. And Rockland again, allowing Tony to be where Tony wants to be. Big round for James Tony.